welcome to a car review. Today we will be reviewing one of my two green cars, this. This is a 1948 Packard Super 8 long wheelbase sedan. And today I'm going to be taking you on a review of this wonderful vehicle. I'll be showing you everything you need to know about old Packards, like electromatic clutch, vacuum lines, everything like that. Uh, and then I'm going to take you for a test drive. So let's get this review started. Now first, let's talk about the long wheelbase sedan. So I have always wanted a 48 Packard for as long as I can remember, but those were either the convertibles or the regular sedans. But when I saw the long wheelbase, this has become my favorite body style. I will own one of these someday. Oh, by the way, I don't own this car. This car is actually going to Florida next week, so I need to review this now. But anyway, the long wheelbase sedan, basically your normal coupe would come down like this and you'd have the, this curved window in the door. Not so with the long wheelbase sedan. You had an extra 18 inches of wheelbase for jump seats, which I will show you when we get to the interior. But basically, this is a limousine, but it's not a limousine. Packard's called this a seven passenger town sedan. Okay, now don't mind the garbage that was never cleaned out of this by the previous owner, like pumpkin Halloween buckets. But basically, this is where you would normally sit in your Packard uh, if it was a normal sedan. However, I really like this feature about the long wheelbase. In these seats, you see these handles. You pull these handles out, you have jump seats. Matter of fact, you can fit three people across these jump seats, which is very convenient, let's say, if you need to emergency bring someone somewhere. But the thing is, you go from having all the legroom in the world to basically four inches of legroom, four or five inches. There may be six, uh, if I'm being generous, but. You go from all the legroom to no legroom, and I don't like that that much. Now in the long wheelbase sedan, of course you have roll down rear windows, but a touch only on the long wheelbase sedan are these quarter windows over here. These quarter windows are very nice. I really like these. This is what made me really like the long wheelbase. A really good thing about them, if you can unlatch them, you can have them open that much, but if you push them, these things go way out. These are massive. They, they work just like regular vent windows. Speaking of the vent windows, they are as well massive pieces of glass. That is one third of the window, basically. A lot of people call these quarter windows. These aren't quarter windows. I'm gonna call these third windows. They are massive. Let's talk about the hood design on a 48 Packard. So let's say you need to open your hood. These hoods don't open normally. What they do, they're it's basically a throwback to early cars where you can open them from one side or the other. But let's say you have to open the hood from, let's say, the driver's side to get to the carburetor. You get to the carburetor? No. You could also open the hood from the passenger side. That's an incredible feature. And with both hood latches released, you can take the hood, you can take the entire hood off. Now I did not take the hood off for this review, but it's very heavy, so excuse me for that. But you can release the hood from any direction. Okay. So now we're going to talk about the interior of a long wheelbase sedan, or basically a 48 Packard. So you have your giant Packard steering wheel. This one has a sport grip on it because of how, um, let's just say, mangled it is underneath. You got the beautiful Packard insignia in the middle that takes a bit. Turn signals, which are self-canceling, by the way. For 1948, that was incredible. You have your three-speed manual, your keys over here. And let me um, show you where the starter is, because when you turn the key... Nothing's going to happen. Now we're in the pedal box of the 48 Packard, and I got to show you something really cool with this. So basically, if you want to start your car, you, you can't use the ignition key. Use the ignition key, and then go. You basically stomp on it. So you stomp on the throttle to get it to start. But another thing is this is a Packard with the optional electromatic clutch, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you. So, we'll start the car back up again. Okay, now, as we can see, the clutch, it pops up and down. Let's put the, let's hit this button on the dash, which I'll show you, called trans. With that button hit, you heard the engine speed change, and you can see the, the pedal is stuck to the floor. Now, if we give it some gas, the pedal will automatically start to come back up, but there's no feel. As a matter of fact, I just put the car in gear. There's no pedal feeling. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it some gas here. Uh, I gotta give it some gas. And we can see it going start to go up because the, the vacuum is now not holding the clutch down. So we basically give it gas and it's basically 
like an automatic transmission. Now, I'm going to say that's awful for hill starts because I tried it. It's very bad because you have no brake. You basically have your clutch and your gas. That's it. You have no brake to hold you except handbrake. But, um, yeah, it's actually a really cool feature, though. Great for it, stop and go traffic. Not great for hill starts. Now we're going to demonstrate the dashboard features for you. So right here is the cigarette lighter. Then we have your headlight switch. Now that tells you when your parking lights are on, basically. There's also another globe right there that tells you when your high beams are on. Instrument. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that does yet. Map light, I'm assuming, runs the map light. Trans. That is the aforementioned electromatic clutch button. That's your fog light button. And there's your heater. The heater actually works in this thing. Not that it will be needed in Florida, but it works. Here is your... Vertically mounted radio. I've never seen that before. I've seen a car with radio between the seats, but that was an old Citroen. Uh, so that's really neat. These are your knobs for your um, vents and heat. That's the broken overdrive knob. Over here we have our massive handbrake. These, This knob right here controls your um, hood latch. So there's one on each side. And those basically control your hood um, latch mechanism. So you can unlatch, you push it all the way down, it's unlatched. Pull it all the way up. Let's, let's demonstrate that. You push it all the way down. Unlatched. Now, if you pull it all the way up, it's latched. There's your key. As I mentioned, you hit the starter. You hit the gas pedal to start it. Massive glove box filled with all kinds of car parts that you need. Unfortunately, I can't get it open right now because i got one hand. Um, Three-speed manual. Very light gear shift. I mean, it's incredibly light. And then you have your Packard in your steering wheel, which is very nice. The gauge cluster of a 48 Packard is also very beautiful. You have your speedometer, which has numbers uh, going from, from 0 to 11 instead of 0 to 110. I believe this car could probably do 110. There's your temperature gauge, which actually goes up to H when you turn the car off, which is weird. Your oil pressure gauge, your fuel gauge your amp gauge, and then, of course, you have your all-important clock, which takes up the same amount of space as the speedometer, but it's still beautiful. And over here, I just forgot about this because I found it just now, is your ashtray. Very well integrated. Now, a cool feature of the 48 Packard is its dimming mirror. Now, if you could dim it, it's fine, but for some reason, it coming out of yellow tint isn't showing on this, but it is also yellow tinted. But when you dim it to uh, night, it comes out of yellow tint, but the camera's not picking that up properly. I don't know why. So here's the drivetrain of the 48 Packard. This is a 327 cubic inch eight cylinder. Now it's not the iconic Chevy or GM 327 cubic inch. This is a Packard 327 cubic inch straight eight. This engine probably weighs a thousand pounds. It's very heavy. We got your oil filter, your oil cap. Over there is your two barrel carburetor with an oil bath air cleaner. Here we have your vacuum controls for your electromatic clutch. Very nice. We have a massive six volt battery. This battery is absolutely massive. I think that's a bit overkill for this car, but the engine is massive, so I would expect a massive battery. Down there's your starter. All of these wires that run to that distributor down there, very basic stuff, but it's a massive engine. Also, vacuum wipers, very nice. All right, so here we go, 48 Packard test drive. Now, it's a very smooth automobile, straight eight cylinder, as I said, very nice gear shift. Let's take it up this road here give it the beans. Now I'm worried with all these bumps, the camera's actually going to fall down because uh, it's literally just sitting on the dashboard against the windshield, but I'm going to try to keep it so it doesn't fall down. And if it falls down, I'll cut the camera and set it back up again. There's a big bump. Didn't do anything. All right, so the cornering and it fell. All right, now you are located on the steering column in front of the gauges. So if we take it around this corner, take it into gear, it's actually a really nice car. I mean, we're cruising around the Walmart parking lot right now, going around all the bends. It's actually a nice car. Uh, I do have to point out but that there is a bit of a stumble when you go into third. 